What about Van Jones yeah. on CNN? One of the many in the media who is starting to show signs that, uh, well, the expectations of him going into a courtroom weren't as devastating as they hoped. I mean, I'm throwing this up at the two panel. Does this hurt the other cases uh, right now being pursued? I, I, I worry. I mean, look, if this is the only pebble that gets thrown at Donald Trump, uh, it's a very small pebble. If it's the first pebble in an avalanche of other indictments that strike more to the heart of, I think, people's core concern about Donald Trump, which is his threat to democracy. So if this is the first pebble, the next one is about the election interference in Georgia. The next one is about the, 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 the coup, the insurrection, January 6th. Uh, the next one's about him hoarding these documents and, and why. Then it, it begins to fit. But if this is the only pebble, it's not much of a pebble. And I do think it could, it could uh, uh, the, the backlash against this pebble might cow other people who might otherwise have been courageous enough to step forward. You know, it's funny, Van Jones is one of these guys. I, I, I don't think he's terrible, but he's one of these sort of liberals who really does see the world as it is. But, you know, he wants to keep a job at CNN, so you can't make sense <laughs> all of the time. It's a little hard for me to tell. I mean, in the poll, look, the polls right now, if you just believe the polls, the polls would show you that Trump got a major bump from this because it ignited that base again. Now, that base still, it's the same base as last time, but at least they're excited again. And a lot of them are like, boy, this is why we voted for Trump in the first place. And this gives us all the more reason to do it again. You have to remember, we're a year and a half out from an election. So it's like, this is very, very early on. And the question is, over time, do the distractions of court cases and indictments and wherever else he's going to have to spend energy, does that grind him down over time? Again, this is all to the backdrop of we have to see what happens with DeSantis. But I can tell you very clearly, Paul, from an American media perspective, all of the attacks right now are on DeSantis, whether it's coming from The View or MSNBC or CNN or Donald Trump. Everybody's attacking the guy who has not announced they're not attacking Trump. That tells you something. Yeah, very good point. Very good point. Uh, also, speaking of The View... Uh... This Sonny Hostin. Um, why? Why? Uh, yeah. I mean, the gift that keeps on giving for us to be able to point and say, look at how crazy the left is. But this is morning television. I don't understand what is the pleasurable part of the morning to sit around and watch this woman hating on the people you disagree with politically. Two things can be true at once. Yesterday was a bad day for Donald Trump, the first indicted former president. I want to see this guy held accountable. This case is not taking Donald Trump down. And I say that for a couple of reasons. How do you know that? There was, well, just real quick, there was no conspiracy charge, which a lot of folks were looking to see that if there was. That was a hard charge to prove. It, the felony ch uh, charges, they, the max sentence is four years, but this is a first time offender. It's a nonviolent crime. It's a class E felony. Every legal expert I've talked to has said most likely a fine and probation if he's even convicted. I'll tell convicted. you why you're wrong as this legal expert. That is that is wrong. And I, I will he's tell not you, going to jail I, over I will tell you He's why, not going to jail I, I over I will this. tell you why you're wrong. Prosecutors are not only in the business of prosecuting crimes, we're in the business of sending out a message. If you let the President of the United States be found guilty of one to 34 counts even if they're misdemeanors, and he gets to go home scot-free, you're sending it's a message. It's not scot-free. We're just the, saying it's going to be a fine and probation. A message it won't be to the country. Time. Paul, it's a terrible way to start the day. You know, oh. my show is on at the same time as The View, live at 11 a.m. Eastern. So people have a very clear choice in America. Do you want to watch The View live or Dave Rubin? And I guarantee you, I will not make you as stupid as the ladies of The View. I mean, it really is incredible what's going on over there. They, they lie about everything. They seemingly hate each other. They turn on each other all the time. You know, they've got the fake conservative Alyssa Farah, who they just, you know, tap her on the head and give her a cookie every now and again. <laughs> Sonny Hostin, who is just, she, you know, she constantly tells us she's a lawyer. She's not that bright. Oh. Joy Behar's lost her mind. I think Whoopi's stoned half the time. It's like, <laughs> I guess maybe people should watch it. Having, having heard everything I just said, now I'm kind of curious. No, 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 no. Don't fall for don't fall for the trap. You're all those things <laughs> and more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The many Can personalities of Dave uh, Rubin, live on Locals, live on YouTube and all those places. But but again, talk, Sunny, I mean, she gets nasty, right? And, and, and again, yeah. I get the kind of, you know, soft WWE of all of this where there's your favourites and all the rest of it. But there's a nastiness about this woman that, again, I don't want to spend my brunch with. 
Yeah, no, there really is a nastiness to her. I think the clip that you're re referencing specifically, she got into it with Alyssa over mm. Alyssa was saying something about Trump and she sort of just kind of snapped at her over the indictment that, you know, basically, Alyssa, you don't know what you're talking about, uh, that this indictment's gonna stick and everything else. And it's like, the truth is, despite the fact that she, I, I, she proclaims to be a lawyer, so I'll take her word for it, uh, if she is a lawyer, the thing is, she, oh, the line that she said, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, it was something to the effect of that you should prosecute people to send a signal, right? That was the idea, yes. that you shouldn't be prosecuting blindly, which American justice is based on blindness, right? We have the woman with the blindfold, with the scales of justice. It's supposed to be blind. What what Sonny Hostin was saying in, a, in quite a nasty way was, in effect, no, we should not be blind. We must prosecute Donald Trump despite regardless of the evidence because that will send a signal to other people that is that is dangerous that is banana republic level stuff and it certainly is not anything that the united states of america has been about for 250 years